Department of Justice or DOJ Secretary Crispin Rimulia revealed on Wednesday, February 28, that Interpol has already issued a red notice against former Congressman Arnulfo Arni Tevez Jr. Rimulia explained this is equivalent to an international arrest warrant. Aktibo na ang hanapin, tsaka pag nag-cross ng mga borders, na gano, na pumunta ng, na accost, on notice na talaga lahat na itong taong to ay inahanot ng batas at dapat panagutin. In the red notice, it stated that Tevez Jr. is wanted for murder charges and has been designated as terrorist in the Philippines. Hence, the DOJ chief added they have to form a team from the National Bureau of Investigation or NBI. They will be tasked to arrest the expelled lawmaker in Timor-Leste. Depende yan eh. Kung gusto nilang sila humuli o tayo humuli, pwede nilang hulihin talaga. Kaya lang, baka mamaya mas gusto nila na magpadala tayo ng team doon para babakap lang sila. The DOJ believes Arnie Tevez would not succeed in seeking an asylum in Timor-Leste. Uh, ang naramdaman ko nung kausap ko sila nung palahon na yon, ay hindi sila magbibigay ng asylum. Sapagat nung pinaliwanag kayo nangyari, ay yung, yung opisyal na kausap ko ay parang ganun nga ang naging inclination na wag magbibigay ng political asylum. Meanwhile, Governor Ruel Digamo's wife, Mayor Janice Digamo, hopes that Tevez Jr. being fugitive will now put to an end. We are hoping uh, Interpol will really do its job to bring back uh, Congressman Tevez so he can, he can uh, face the charges against him. Tevez's lawyer, Attorney Ferdinand Topacio, believes otherwise. Ang red notice naman po ay hindi mandatory. Ito ay uh, pakiusap lamang sa mga members ng Interpol, ng International Police na kung makikita niyo itong tao ito, ito ay may warrant sa aming jurisdiction, baka pwede uh, pakiaresto. No? Dante Amento, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.